hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by today so real quick I'm out here in my garden and I want to do some bitter leaf harvesting so I thought I should take you guys along all these tall plants behind me they are all bitter leaves and I like four years ago I got like two stems two stems from a family friend and I planted them and when and I'm in this video I'm going to show you how you can multiply it so that you can get as much bitter leaves as you can as you want like all these they all came from two stems two stems and recently I've been shipping out a lot of bitter leaves a lot of scent leaf seeds for people who want to plant so and if you're interested to let me know in the comment section or you can check my the description box for my email and I'm going to send you some bitter leaf stems so that you can plant it too uh, scent leaf seeds too and water leaf seeds so today I'm going to show you how you can multiply the stems so that you can get a lot of bitter leaves as much as you want okay from just two stems or three stems or one stem while equally enjoying the the leaves itself bitter leaf has so many health benefits like it's very good for people who are diabetic because it um, it helps with the blood sugar, you know, and it's good for other things too But hang around to the end of this video and I'm going to show you everything you need to know and we're going to have fun together Harvesting these bitter leaves. Okay <laughs> All right All right, all right, all right Okay, okay, okay So my bitter leaf was due for harvesting and I did not harvest it. So this is the consequence of not harvesting your bitter leaves early. So you want to avoid this because they turn yellow. And this is also another sign like when you see one of the leaves turning yellow, just know that your harvest is long overdue. So rush and harvest your bitter leaves okay but i'm gonna pluck away all these yellow leaves because it's not edible it's not healthy so i'll plug it and then i'll throw it into the farmer's compost so after harvesting the the leaves plucking the leaves of the stem this is what it looks like you want to keep like two leaves on top like this um so that it will sustain the stem while new leaves are coming out okay leave two leaves up like this and then you go ahead and we're going to cut it make sure you don't go to the very very bottom you want to cut it like half of the stem or you go down a little bit okay and then go down because you want to cut the mature part you don't want to cut the one that is not mature like the upper part come down to the bottom but not at the very very bottom like half then come up a little bit half of the stem then come up a little bit and then you cut it you may use a scissor but if it's too thick if the stem is too thick the scissor will not cut it so you might as well use your hand to break it like this and then you can assist you know with a scissor you know to cut it out so after cutting it out this is what you will have okay and then we will go to where we're going to plant it choose a place where you want to plant and then you dig a dig a hole like three inches down and then just pour in your soil i'm just using regular soil no spe not not a special soil because bitter leaf does very well with any kind of soil um not a sandy soil though then just fill up your uh fill up that hole with soil like this 
and it's very simple the next thing is for you to pour water you want to make sure that you keep it moist okay and after 21 days this is what it looks like i prefer growing with stems because they grow faster very fast than if you had planted with seeds planted the seeds the seeds takes a lot of time before they grow this big because you know they have to shoot out from the soil and then turn into seedlings then they start growing and growing and growing so it takes a lot of time but with just the stem you can harvest it in 21 days like it is now you can harvest it so this is mine after four months this is what they look like they are very tall but you do not have to wait till they are this very very tall before you can cut it and propagate it okay you can cut it at uh, say a month one month that's 30 days or 31 days you can cut it and then propagate it So as you can see, I harvested a lot of bitter leaf. This is going to take me for about two years and I'm going to process it and freeze it. If you want to know how I process it, check the description box below. I also want to warn you, if you leave it on the stem for a long time, you see what it looks like, it's going to turn yellow. The leaves will turn yellow like this. See that? The leaves turned yellow because I left it on the plant. For a long time it was long overdue for harvesting so you want to avoid this and make sure you harvest it on time okay so what i'm gonna do is that i'm going to pour this in my garden that's my compost nothing wasted okay okay guys so after cutting all the leaves from the same this I have this much stems and from this stem I'll plant it again and then they will grow again into bitter leaves you know keep producing more leaves on the plants so this is how you spread your bitter leaves you propagate it so that you have a lot of bitter leaves as much as you want because it's a lot a lot of stems all this hey i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up share this video and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below so that every time i upload a new video i upload videos every week you'll be the first person to be notified so i'll see you guys in my next video take care bye